What we have here is the clamp and adjustable joiners. There are a range of adjustable poly pipe joiners which allow you to join pipe from a butt to butt join or have up to a 100 mil gap between your pipes if that's what you need to do. We've been selling the clamper tool for a number of years and talked to a lot of farmers and one of their pet hates is that when they find a piece of pipe with a split in it and they need to patch it, generally when they remove the split out they have to cut or try and guesstimate to fit a conventional joiner in and generally what happens is the pipes sneak apart and once that's happened the conventional joiner's short on one end and it costs them two joiners and another piece of pipe to fit it in. The big advantage with your clamp and adjustable joiner is it slides into the bore of your pipe. If you actually have a look at it, you've got a common rib here, you've got a long end and a short end. So once you've removed the pipe, if you grab your 1.6 stainless steel clamps that we're using here, you fit them over the end of the pipe like you can see I've done there and on the other side there. The stainless steel wire we're using here is 316 which is marine grade stainless steel so it won't rust or corrode out. Once you've removed the pipe and put the clamps on, if you just move your pipe slightly sideways, you can then slide the long end up the pipe as far as you can. If you bring them back to the centre again, this will slide back and into the other pipe, as you can see I've done there. Now you can clamp them anywhere between from butt to butt or out to your 100mm gap if that's what you wanted to do. To be sure the wires are sitting in the correct position in regards to the joiner, all the joiners are the same length and they all have this common rib here. So if you just sit the rib down against a pipe like that, you can see exactly where the wires are going to sit in relation to the joiner. Once you've got them in place, you grab your clamper tool, which is the same as you use to make the hose clamps with. Same story, you've got the notch in the end, two pins that run across the body. It's an all stainless steel body with a crank handle on the back. To insert them, if you just simply separate your wires apart, put the loop over the first pin, over the second pin. If you then draw the tool back from underneath, the wire lines up with the notch on the end of the tool there. And if you just tighten the wires up until they're firm, you then use your second joiner to check the positioning of the wires. Now once you've got them in place and you're happy, it's just simply a matter of winding the handle on the back side here. Ensure the wire stays in the notch of the tool like you can see I've done here. And then it's just a matter of winding the handle. The pressure will come down quickly and evenly. The stainless steel wire we're using here has a yield of 50%. So that means that if you've got 30 centimetres of wire, it'll stretch out to 45 centimetres without any problem. Your pressure comes evenly, is evenly distributed right around the piece of pipe and you'll virtually go the full length of the thread tightening it down before you need to flip the tool over to lock it off. You can see in this situation how we've got the four wires all sitting neat and tidily there together and they're in the rib. So we'll just continue it out until we've gone the full length of the thread. As you can see, full length of the thread there. Now once you've got them in place like that, before you actually bend the tool over, you're putting a lot of pressure on the wire. If you just simply loosen it off one turn, you can then fold the tool straight back over himself like you can see I've done there. Once you have it in place, it's just simply a matter of loosening the handle. The tool will come free. You can then take your side cutters, nip the wire off short, short again on the back side, same story again, you can see the setting of the wires, they haven't sprung back or come back at all. It's wise to use the back of your side cutters just to roll the tips of the wires back and down again so they don't come free. That's your short end clamped up there now. <coughs> the wires come off the pegs as you can see here. If you just run the tool back to the bottom of the stroke, take your joiner again and position it so you can see exactly where you're going to have the wire sitting in relation to the joiner this time. Alrighty, same story again, just simply separate the wires apart and fit the tool in between over the two pins. If you draw the tool back from the bottom, again it'll pick up the notch on the end of the tool. Just take the slack up on the wire so that you can then position it to where you want it to be. On the sawtooth end here, probably the preferred position to have the wires in would be to have a wire on either side of one of those teeth. So if you can get it into position like that, there's no way it'll separate or come apart. 
We'll just take it down a little bit for a start. Just position your wires up. It's a little bit easier if the pipe is intact and not moving like you can see here. All right. Once you get it in place there again, wind the handle until you run out of thread and your pressure will come down quickly and evenly. They come in three different sizes at this stage. They're designed for your rural B pipe, so we've got an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and your two inch. As you can see there, the wires are pulling down on either side of the rib, so it's going to capture the rib there. We'll just take it out the full length of the thread. Again, you can see the pressure there. Wires are pulled down tight. It's just simply a matter of turning the tool, one turn free and you actually flip the tool back over himself like that that locks your wires off loosen the handle again tool comes free take your side cutters nip the wires off probably about a quarter of an inch long and again there same story with the wires roll the tips of the wires back and down again and there's your clamp made there's the tool inch and a quarter inch and a half and your two inch joiner. All designed to work in rural B poly.